everyone, my name is Selva. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you are all doing well and having such an awesome, awesome day. So today, we are building a traditional house. So this is supposed to be a cozy cottage type of a house, I would say. So I really wanted to build a cottage in emerald green to be exact, like you can see on the screen right now and i think it's just such a pretty pretty color and i built this in newcrest the lot name is potter's play potter's play i i believe so this is a 20 by 15 lot and this is such a small home and i really wanted to make this build to to look very old and traditional so it's kind of have the more kind of grandma grandparents vibe i would say and i could see my grandma or yeah grandparents live here it, it's it's kind of their style so the furniture i chose something very vintage i would say and this is supposed to be a limited pack build so i only use um, seasons and nifty knitting so at first I really want to make this only seasons um, build but I need some poof thing and I think some of the um, nifty knitting built by objects are very grandma -y, like like the hanging planners and the rocking chairs and what else I think that's it and I really do like this um, front porch area it's so cozy just like the name and I could see myself hang out on the front porch a lot I would say and to be honest it's kind of it's kind of hard for me to limit the packs to only seasons and nifty anything because don't get me wrong both are such a good pack especially seasons it changes a lot of the gameplay but we don't have that many options the the furniture style in seasons are kind of like it's it's not too old but not too modern too so it's kind of like in between and i really want to make this to be an old old house a more traditional house so it's kind of it's 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 rather hard for me to build this but i think i i executed this house pretty well so yeah this is supposed to be a two bedrooms and one bathroom house so it's it's rather small because this is such a small lot and i don't want to build a, a big big house for for this time because i have it's I don't want to say about that but it's it's a rather big build it's not that it's not that big big but it's quite big I would say and it will be coming later on this week just just for some info and I am really proud about that build but anyway this is the kitchen and I it's is that the um, it, most expensive stove well well I'm not sure but I think it is I really want to make this house to be to have not to be to have the snow escape stove I think it's one of my most favorite stove besides the cool kitchen one but because they don't have that back side thingy I don't know what to call that 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 thing it's just so so cute from the, uh, the snow escape one is so so cute but since this is a limited pack build so I can't use snow escape and the kitchen has the most expensive countertops and kitchen cabinets ever in the game so this I think it is or not I'm not sure because we have two um, sets the, to countertops and kitchen cabinet that looks fairly similar but they have 
such very different prices so one of them is the most expensive one and the other one is supposed to be it's not that cheap cheap like the city living one like like the city living one but it's not that expensive either so it's kind of like uh mid-range countertops and i think this is the mid-range one probably i'm not sure and as you can see on the screen right now that i put this curl one it's what what do you call that in english i'm not sure but this christmas decor decor what ornament decoration thingy i merge decoration and ornament so it's kind of like decoration i'm so sorry my english is not that amazing today i'm not sure why because it just is but anyway i decided to put some christmas decoration here but since but i decided to not put a lot of decoration on the exterior parts of the house so it's kind of like the interior only because i feel like this is supposed to be a more um older sims house so it's kind of like the grandparents house so they are very tired to to decorate every single corner of their house so they just decided to put this big big christmas tree and some decoration in the kitchen because their grandma the grandma loves to cook i mean i i think most grandmas love to cook i would say um it's it it might be not all of them but i think most of them are uh, are good cooks so yeah that's basically that and i did swap this um library bookcase thingy to the other parts so this is supposed to be where the christmas tree is and i think the christmas tree from the holiday pack is way better than the one that came with seasons i think we have two in seasons i'm not sure but I use this holiday pack celebration thing. This is supposed to be a free pack, I would say, a few years ago. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not sure when. I can't recall that, but I'm pretty sure it's a free pack. So, if you have base game, you could download that pack easily because it's free basically so yeah and this is supposed to be the kind of like an office space it's not very it's not an office room but it's kind of like some more small office desk area and i just want to make this house has some more um skill building items so i think a pc is a mass have i would say I mean you could you could do so many different things with pc in the game like writing programming what else um paying bills and playing games it's just such a powerful powerful tools and it's a must in every single home or apartment or every single build i would say it's because it's a it's just a skill building item that that would build a lot of skills so yeah i have to throw a pc here and this is the christmas tree and christmas presents i use this debug presents from seasons i think it looks really really cool and having this many presents are such a bless especially if you are the only grandson or the only child from this household it would be such a blast because you have all of them not all of them most of them for yourself so yeah and this is the living space so it's it's a bit a bit cramped i would say but it's it's still a playable and i play tested everything and everything's just work perfectly fine at least on my game so if some of you having some issues with this um whole playing session i'm not sure why because on me it's just work just 
just like wonderfully so yeah and I decided to put a lot of bookcases in this home because at my grandparents house they have a crazy amount of bookcases so yeah I think it's it's a must to have some bookcase here and the bathroom is pretty small so this is the bathroom it's just a two by three tiles bathroom and we don't have shower here because every single shower in the game I mean the standalone one not the combo between shower and top it just looks ridiculous it doesn't match with my my whole style with what I envision so I just decided to use this bathtub I think this is from base game maybe I'm not sure because I'm pretty sure the seasons one are a little more modern I would say it's it's very square and not very traditional so that's why I use this and yes I put this um, bathtub on platforms but at the end I decided to lower that down so it's just one single level and I don't play with platforms that many in this build because I don't feel like it's necessary so yeah and this is the other bedroom I would say the grandson or the child bedroom and I'm, I'm not sure because this is such a cute bedroom it's it's kind of more it looks very girly I would say but it's not that girly either because I mean yeah the color scheme is not very screaming girly it still looks vintage and old and rustic kind of so it's kind of the mix between farmhouse and barn style and vintage because it's it's kind of look very rundown but it's not that crazy rundown it's still it's just this bedroom screamed old to me and I really love that and even the master bedroom is it it looks old you will see in just a bit and this is me just basically cluttered up this desk so it doesn't look too empty and the whole bedroom came together and I just have to move on to the master bedroom and I believe this is the last indoor space that I decorated so the master bedroom is quite large I would say but you don't have a master bath over here so it's just kind of it's it's not that sad either but clearly you just don't have the luxury of master bathroom and ensuite bathroom but you have this nook Thing over here so you could just knit yourself not knit yourself knit some things for yourself and I just decided to throw some more presents over here so this so this household has one of the most loyal it's not loyal mo yeah I think loyal grandparents ever and I'm not sure if that's exists I think I think yeah it's it's exists but I think the grandson or the the child is very lucky I would say I don't want to make this house too cluttered so it's not very messy it's just still tidy because my grandma loves to tidy up the house so yeah this is just me basically try to do the landscaping and at the end the backyard has some kind of like seating area so yeah, and I decided to put this monkey bar over here because I think being such an old traditional house, they could have this monkey bar for such a recreation for their child. And now when their child getting older and they have some um, grandchilds, they could use the monkey bars for the grandchild. So that's... This is what I thought when I built that and this is basically me just landscaping the front part of the house. It's not, I don't want to say it's not too simple. It's still a bit lushy as I always love. I love lushy landscaping. It looks very bushy, very lushy. It's just so, so cute. And I just really like this and I use almost 
I think most of them or all of them are debug pens so it costs you nothing and this has supposed to cost you I think around 60 or 70 thousand simoleons I'm not sure but around that budget so yeah and I think that's about it after this we just have to finish up the backyard I think yeah finish up the backyard and we're gonna jump to the screenshots you guys so if you want to download this build, this has even up on the Sims 4 gallery. You can search by my ID, Alphatiera, or under the hashtag Alphatiera, or under the other hashtag LamiSims. So you could choose whatever you want. The hashtags will work. And besides that, I also have a link to get it from the website gallery, as well as the link from the Sim file share for the tray files. So yeah i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video so yeah i'm gonna wrap this video off right now thank you so so much for joining me today enjoy the rest of the screenshots and i'll see you in the next video bye